Hey, this is Anne, and these are the races we're watching at Emerge. Emerge is the nation's premier organization that recruits and trains Democratic women to run for office. We have more than 4,000 alums across the country, with 740 of them currently serving in elected office. This is part two of my second weekly update during primary season about the interesting things going on in Democratic races across the country. If you haven't listened to part one of this week's update, please go back and check it out. In this episode, we'll be talking about yesterday's Georgia primaries, reminding everyone of 2018 when Georgia officials purged 100,000 voters ahead of the gubernatorial election there, Peach State elections made national news again for all the wrong reasons. We saw clear voter suppression in majority black counties with precincts with hours long wait lines, faulty equipment, and a lack of ballots that the American Civil Liberties Union of Georgia called a massive failure. Before the polls even closed there, officials launched, launched an investigation, raising fears of what could happen in the November election. And these weren't even the first reported election issues in Georgia this year. Recently, Emerge alum and former state rep Deborah Gonzalez joined multiple other candidates who are suing Governor Brian Kemp for using a legal loophole to cancel their races. Under provisions of a law passed by the Republican Majority State Legislature in 2018, Kemp was allowed to effectively cancel this year's election for district attorney that Gonzalez was a candidate in and delay it until 2022, just by not appointing an interim district attorney after the previous one retired. But even with all the problems experienced in, the Georgia, in Georgia yesterday, there's still some good news. While we're still waiting on the results in three of our races, Emerge women won or advanced to a runoff in nine out of 10 races called so far. In Georgia's sixth congressional district, Congresswoman Lucy McBath, who lost her son Jordan to gun violence in 2012, came through an uncontested primary and will once again face Karen Handel, the former Congresswoman that Representative McBath unseated in 2018. This will be a hotly contested race that everyone will be watching into the general election. Subscribe to our channel for more updates. I'm Anne, and I'll talk to you next week on Races to Watch.